Hello everyone. As you have seen in the video, structural steel member was being assembled at site. So first of all, we need to understand why do we do provide steel. I will explain you with an example. Suppose we have designed our project considering all the design factors for a span of maximum 30 meter or in any case we encounter a situation where we will not be able to construct 30 meter span it happens at places where there is junction and uh, it is not suitable to do foundation as a result of which our span sizes increase let's take another example if we are constructing the metro rail viaduct in the city area and we come across any junction which is already having a width greater than 40 meter so we cannot place our pillars in between the junction so we go for alternative solution we increase the span length and help to solve the problem with the help of steel superstructure so i will explain you this in more detail for example this is our span this is one pillar and this is another pillar so the distance between these two pillar is nearly 30 meter as when our project was getting designed we have designed everything according to 30 meter we have given a maximum length of span as 30 meter so suppose there is a junction like this so one pillar is coming here one pillar is coming here and one pillar will come here so we cannot place this pier here or the pillar here so we need to shift the pillar here so the function of the junction is justified so in short words i would like to tell you that there are other many reasons why we use it uh, structural steel is often lighter than other materials for the same span the use of structural steel for any bridge project accelerate construction and reduces on-site labor requirement and overall project cost steel is most versatile and effective material for bridge construction to be able to carry load in tension compression and shear and in this structure what we do we generally use bolted connection so you need to learn what is bolted connection and if you are a civil engineer you might be knowing that also because uh, we st generally study in third year or fourth year this structural steel so uh, just to give a quick look at what is bolted connection so it would be very easy for the people to understand this so as you have seen in the video so let me uh, tell you with the help of diagram so here you can see just wait a second yes here you can see this is the this is the center to center distance of pier so this is one pier this is another pier the center to center distance of this structural steel is 45 meter and what is the total length of the composite plate girder it is 44.4 meter all dimension are in mm remember that okay so what is the uh, width so here the width is given total width of tech slab is 8.5 and the total width of this steel structure member is 1.85 2.3 1.85 so we will add these three and we will get it it is the center to center. It has taken from center to center.
so this is the plan and in this plan we have ib1 what is ib this is intermediate bracing ib2 intermediate bracing second intermediate bracing third fourth fifth sixth so this is intermediate bracing so there are total number of six intermediate bracing so what is this this is splice plate connection spice splice plate one splice plate two one two oh sorry one two so there are total number of four splice plate connection okay this was the plan let's see the elevation how it looks so so uh, in the video you must have seen that one vertical members were just protruding out of the uh, top flange so what we call it as shear stud shear stud this okay so this is the plan you can see ib1 ib2 ib3 ib4 ib5 and ib6 intermediate pressing 6 so splice plate connection this is sp1 sp2 sp2 sp1 so 3 4 like this we can calculate it so this is the elevation you can see the length 5.6 6.95 6.1 like this you will calculate then it will come about 44.4 so this was the so this was the plan and this is the elevation so i hope it would be easy for you to study the drawing now and this is one of the most important structure and generally we provide this these structure in railway over bridges so anytime in future if you are going to any railway construction site or if you ever pass to any railway crossing where there is overbridge or railway overbridge then you can see this structural steel member being used okay so we will move here so this is basically a section cut out what is this section this is section b b so if we will cut the section bb and if we look from here then how our structure will look it will look like this okay so you can see here the total width of the deck is 8.5 center to center distance of railway track is 4.1 center to center distance of rail is one five one zero this is basically being used for metro rail side so we generally use standard gauge in metro rail okay fine so this is what we call it as intermediate bracing ib all right so this was it so let's take a look about uh, notes what things we need to understand what is important here so all dimension are in mm uh, millimeter and levels are in meter so minimum grade of structural steel shall be e350 with yield stress of 330 mpa conforming to is 2062 201 2011 concrete grade is m45 okay so all bowls are of 24 dia hsfg what is hsfg high strength friction grip bolt there is one of 24 there is one of 20 for ib that is intermediate bracing it is 20 
Shear studs, diameter is 25 mm. Grade of shear stud shall be minimum. Okay, shear stud shall be welded in accordance with manufacturer's instruction, including preheating wherever necessary. Okay. Okay, all welds are 10 mm thick. Remember. Okay. So these were the thing. Okay, the design is for two million cycles for fatigue. So this must be understood that whenever you are planning for any such structure then we must see that for how much cycle it has been designed so here it is it has been designed for 2 million cycles okay so metallizing metallizing means a type of a paint we are doing to protect it from different environmental attack or to provide a better durability to the structures so we do in the three phases first coat second coat and third and fourth coat with a coating of 150 micron by minimum two passes okay so these were the notes and i hope you must have understood so you can finally see the structure here you can see that uh, the span is coming and we need to place this steel structure over that in accordance with that span so here you can see this is splice plate joint you can see uh, on the top side you are seeing top flange and in bottom you are seeing bottom flange here it is also one splice joint and on top it is this is bottom flange you can see this is high strength friction grip bolt and it is called as bolted connection as a civil engineer you must understand these things how the forces are acting on these structural member so this is it thank you Thank you.